Today we talk about Tic Tac scams. In this video, I am going to personally talk to Billie Eyelash and ask her why she scammed me. Also, apparently this guy is going to teach me how to be rich. Dude, your viewers are 14. They can't even open a crypto account. Alright, whatever. If you're into cryptocurrency, please watch this video because it might change your life. So before I go on- Yeah, before you go on, I already know it's complete BS. This is how they lure everybody in. First step, this will change your life forever. Second step, it's up 380,000%. I think everybody needs to hear this. No crypto or stock you ever buy will ever be up 380,000%. Nine out of 10 times, it's one of three things. They're either selling you some random course they made or like peddling a product that they're affiliated with, or they just want views on TikTok. They literally make no money from it and they just want to screw you over all right dude with the mic cool so let me tell you a horror story one okay why are you whispering stop dude i don't want to be weird or anything but i feel like you're gonna approach me in the woods in the middle of the night like i hate it when people whisper just take it away my guy time someone come up to me and said what if i you die young why should i invest now and i said what happens if you die old with no money. I cannot stress to you how stupid that was. Dude, I don't even care about your messes. That was just so creepy. Basically, some people don't want to invest because what if I die tomorrow? Then all my money's wasted. Honestly, that's a pretty stupid way to live by. If you're going to die tomorrow, chances are you're not going to do anything productive at all. You wouldn't go to school because you're dying tomorrow. You wouldn't have any ambitions or long-term goals because you're dying tomorrow. Invest your money. Don't be a dumbass. Dude, I swear to God, I see so many people get scammed. It's so annoying. If you actually want to know how to invest and make money, I, I did make a channel. So so go follow me. Also, I would love to die old with no money because that means I spent everything. All right, we got this bozo talking about retirement accounts. Warren Buffett has not got a 401k. He's got Coca-Cola. I gave up my retirement accounts. I had millions of dollars sitting in retirement accounts. I paid the penalty to get the money. I got convinced by the bank to build an IRA or a 401k. Okay, this, this is absolutely horrid advice. Rich people absolutely do have retirement accounts. Doesn't Warren Buffett have like 20 million in his retirement account? This guy's just plain lying lying to you. Your retirement accounts are an absolute godsend. Definitely put your money in there. That were giving me the advice or telling me to figure out how to exit. You're planning an exit when you're 30. It's stupid. Think about what you're doing. You're not going to retire until you're 70. Rich people never worry about their retirement account. That literally looks like it's edited to make him look bad. There's literally nothing wrong with diversifying your income. You definitely need to have some money in retirement accounts as well as Coca-Cola if you want to. Okay, this guy says more of these types of videos, please. Okay, we got a bunch of Kit Kats. I, I like me some Kit Kats. I'm gonna give you three tips you need to know. Tip number one, when you put all of your investment funds in the stock market, that does not mean you have all your eggs in one basket. The stock market consists of many industries. Examples. Okay, this guy's literally teaching a toddler. That was literally the stupidest statement I've ever heard in my life. Investing in the stock market is having all your eggs in one basket. The entire stock market, not an individual. S this, this gives me brain damage. Banking industry, healthcare, real estate, Nestle, food. Different industries have their ups and downs at different times. Imagine these chocolates were stocks. Stock one, real estate, very down, not doing good. Stock two, banking, doing okay. Stock three, healthcare, very good. Buy this, maybe do not buy. If you had this already, sell it. If you have this, wait on it. If you don't have this, buy this now. I love the little crunch he did at the end, like, I'm badass, I just explained stocks with Kit Kats, baby. Okay, so what he says kind of makes sense, like, you know, buy, buy low, sell high, I get it. But just because a stock dropped in price doesn't mean that you should definitely buy it. Like, if a stock is super overvalued and then it drops to less overvalued, it's still overvalued and you shouldn't be buying it. But whatever, you know, good, good job, Kit Kat man. So apparently some scammer randomly uploaded one of uh, Billy Eyelash's li previous lives. And, uh, yeah, people thought it was real. There's, like, 25,000 live viewers. And, uh, yeah, they're just donating money to fake Billy Eyelash. It's pretty funny. Okay, let's watch the video. That's cute. Ricky! How are you, baby? There Check. is no Ricky in the chat, man. What? What's your favorite Michael Jackson song? I have no favorite. All, all Eyelash songs only. I say my name. Can you go on a date with me? Can you say Clementine? See, I don't want to say anything wrong because everybody pronounces my name wrong. So I don't want to... I think it takes maybe 10 seconds for a normal human, you know, functioning 
brain human being to realize this is fake. And wouldn't super fans know like exactly how many previous live streams she's done and the fact that she said the exact same? The video prompted a flurry of comments from excited fans, with many showing their support by sending gifts through TikTok's in-app tipping system. So the scam account was called Billy Eyelash Live underscore one. That sounds like my my eyelash. So our fans are so stupid that they there was like sixty thousand followers to this TikTok account, and uh, they gave her a bunch of money, which. Why would you even give Billy Eyelash real money? Like, even if she was real, you think she needs money? Like, what is just the stupidest people? I don't know who to feel bad for. I like, okay, the scammer is a scammer. He's a dickhead. But also, I don't know. The people getting scammed are pretty dumb too. I don't. So much brain damage. Just end the video, man. Bye. Why I wait to add to a stock after it falls. Let me show you why I wait. To add to it. Why I wait. I automatically don't trust people when they talk like that. Let's take a look at some individual stocks. Let's take a look at Apple here. Apple's pretty popular these days. Apple's pretty popular these days, guys. I, I know what I'm talking about. You freaking bozo. Okay, these type of TikToks are the worst. The quickest way to turn $10 into $10,000 in crypto. If this guy knew how to do this, he wouldn't be making a video on it. Also, I'm just going to save you the trouble. You are never turning $10 into $10,000 with crypto. Unless you're the luckiest man alive. Life, just not gonna happen. Wealthy people don't spend money on stupid stuff like $18 drink. Are you kidding me? That's literally the opposite of what every wealthy person I see on the internet does. In fact, they don't spend money on $18 drinks. They spend money on $10,000 pizzas. Fun fact, when you have money, you actually spend it. A lot of the advice they give will never make you millionaires, like, you know, pinching pennies for this packet of chips or something. Now, those are good habits to, like, save little bits of money here and there. But the fact is, pinching pennies will never add up to a million dollars. And honestly, usually it's pretty detrimental. I, I've seen it with girls in my school all the time. They like skip lunch to save money, which is the dumbest thing ever. Eat your goddamn three meals a day. Thing is, usually millionaires are created by, you know, creating a product, providing value, making a business, you know, investing. I just don't like the idea of like denying yourself all these pleasures just to hopefully add up to a million. It's never going to happen. Cash is worthless. You are never going to become wealthy just hoarding money in a savings account. Inflation. Inflation is just a fancy way of saying that the dollar is worth less, so you can't buy as much as you used to be able to. Dude, I hate it when somebody says something completely BS and then completely right, right after. Cash obviously isn't worthless. It is very worth full. Newsflash, you can use cash to buy things. It is always useful to have cash. Now leaving cash in your bank account, okay, that's not the best move. Because as we all know, because of inflation, everything gets more expensive every year. So obviously the value of your money is going down every year. That's why literally everybody on the internet tells you to invest your money. Okay, so I don't know if these are facts, because if they are, I'm very concerned for America. 61% of Americans don't have enough savings to cover a thousand dollar emergency. Dude, if that's true, that's really sad, bro. People will still buy MacBooks, though. That's this is what it is. 33% of American adults have $0 safe for retirement. Honestly, this is pretty shocking. Clearly, Americans need help. All right, go watch my other channel for investing advice. Bye-bye.